Good afternoon, Carl Johnson, Mastermind Traders. It is Friday, expiration date, March 11th, and it is just a few moments here, almost a half hour before the market closes. Well, let's talk about the trades that we talked about on the setup. So we did uh, we did a few of them. We looked at Apple, Facebook, McDonald's, Caterpillar, Goldman Sachs, and uh, AIG. Now, first of all, we, what we said is we'll take the bullish trades on if the market starts out bullish. Well, we're looking at the market here yesterday, and this is the day that we were talking about taking a position. So we can see that that certainly started off bullish. So would we have done any of the bearish trades? No. Could we have switched to the bearish trades when the markets are going down? Yes. Now the bearish trades we had set was Goldman Sachs and AIG. So we would not have entered those at the beginning of the market. No go. The stocks that we would have traded was Apple. And let me see, that's a double A. PL. Facebook, McDonald's, and Caterpillar. So those were the four bullish trades we looked at. So let's go ahead and take a look at those and see what uh, the results would have been. So let me bring in a chart. Here's AIG. We would not have done that trade. We wouldn't have done it because the market started off bullish. So we uh, would not have taken a bearish position. Here's Goldman Sachs. We would not have taken it. It was a bullish day to start off with. So let's talk about the bullish trades. All right, first one, Apple. All right, now Apple, let's take a closer look here. Apple, we would not have been triggered into the trade. Oh, excuse me, we would have been triggered in the trade right here. We would still be in it because the the stop was not triggered. So we would have been in it at 101.60 and it's trading about 30 cents higher right now. And on Apple 30 cents minus about a four cent spread we would be up about 26 cents if we did 10 contracts, that would be $260. And if that was for two days expiration. And we did talk about using two days expiration for Apple and Facebook, that we could have done that. Had we chosen next week's expiration, well then we'd hold into the trade and find out what goes on next week. But I'd be happy with $260. All right, so let's take a look at at um, Facebook. All right, now Facebook would have been a losing trade. That would have been losing because we would have been triggered in and Facebook just took a nosedive like all get out. Okay, so that would have been a loss. And it would have been a dollar twenty loss. Now, the interesting thing, however, because that long wick here, both of these wicks, man, they shot down and uh, came down below this trending support level and came down equal to the close of that bearish candlestick right there. So do you see why it's important to give the stop enough wiggle room to move around? Because had we held into it, look where we would be today if we had lowered our stock. Yeah, whether that's a good idea or not, it's, uh, it all depends on the trader. Uh, however, let's just say we did take a loss. Okay, the entry point of 107.60 is still a good entry point. So could we have done that the next day, which would have been today? Sure. And we would have been triggered in at the open. And here's where we would be right now at the end, towards the end of today's expiration. That's about a buck. 
Now we would have taken a dollar twenty loss, so we would still be down twenty cents. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at uh, McDonald's. That was the other one. Let me get rid of my pen here. And McDonald's, I'll find it. Here we are. That would have been a beauty. Now, we set our stop into the box. See, remember we said we got in it because it broke out of the box. Therefore, our stop has to go in the box. So we would have got triggered in at 119.20. And uh, it depends on if we were watching. We could have had the high or you can just see where we are. So we're making money. We're up about uh, $2 and some odd cents. Okay, not too shabby. Well, maybe not quite $2, but uh, again, I always check my math out. You can see where the closing price is today. But the high was a little bit higher. So McDonald's, Apple, two winners with a small loss on Facebook had we entered that today as well. And the last one that we took a look at was Caterpillar. Let me find Caterpillar. Caterpillar. All right, interesting. We would have never been triggered into the trade yesterday because Caterpillar opened here and traded down. So you can't look at the stop loss because we would have never been triggered in the trade to be taken out of. But nonetheless, just like Facebook, the entry of 7230 was still a good entry point. We would have waited today, took another entry. So you see, if you don't get in one day, and if the setup still looks good, get in the next day. Well, today would have been the next day. And you can see that we would have been in at 7230, and uh, up here at the high was about 73. But if we look at the closing or trading price presently, 72.80, that put us about 50 cents up. Ten contracts, that's $500. $260 from Apple, that puts us up at 760. We had a 20 cent loss on Facebook. That's uh, we'll look at my math. It'd be 760 we're up. Let me get rid of this. That's 760 up. We're up. But we would have taken 20 cent loss on, let's say, 10 contracts as well. That means we would have taken a loss of $200 on that. We're still up $560. And then what about McDonald's? McDonald's, uh, okay, no, I guess that is figuring out all the trades. And so we'd be up about $560. All right. Not too shabby for some very inexpensive trades because we would have taken entries on Wednesday, which would have been cheap options if we used today's expiration. Why would they be cheap? Because there's less time involved in the premium because we're close to expiration. So therefore, the options are a lot cheaper had we bought and out till next week. All right, so there is Caterpillar. Now, for uh, the Trade Alert subscribers, let's go over what we did on on our Trade Alerts here. Okay, so on our Trade Alerts, we did Tesla. Take a look at Tesla. Boom! Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so that right there, on Tesla, we sold that setup for 38 cents. Okay, so let's remember that 38 cents, and uh, we could get out today and maybe give a nickel back, or we can just hold up. Why? There's no reason to get out today. Best thing to do is hold it over the weekend, let more time to KOA. So, uh, come Monday, we'll probably get out of that thing for a couple pennies. But nonetheless, uh, let's look at the 38 cents because it's a beautiful winning trade. Beautiful, I'm telling you, beautiful. Okay, and the next one we did was Aetna. Let's take a look at Aetna. Beautiful, beautiful. Aetna, we took 40 cents. 
So 40 cents on Aetna could get all that trade for a couple pennies right now. No sense in it. Might as well wait till Monday, let the weekend decay away. And then the other trade alert we did, Baidu. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, Baidu was 28 cents. So combined all three trades, we, let me see, we did about uh, 38 cents. We received 40 cents. We received 28 cents. Okay, so let's do the math on that. 16, 6, 10. Okay, so that would be $1,060 since Wednesday. Wednesday till present, or at least maybe till Monday. It depends on how you want to look at time decay. And a combined little greater than 25% return. Now, 25% return on our money from Wednesday till today. Are you kidding me? Yet, go to your bank and see if they're going to offer you that kind of return in, in a, what, two days? Well, Wednesday afternoon, so Wednesday, Wednesday we can't even count. So Thursday and Friday, two days. Two days of trading in that trade for two days, and kaboom, up here at 25%. Not too shabby. All right, so from this point on, from today on, what we are going to do is we're not going to go over any of these trade setups anymore, like what we did here with the Apple and Caterpillar and Facebook and Goldman Sachs. But we will for those of you that are the Trade Alert subscribers. So uh, expect me to post something Sunday evening sometime, Sunday evening for a Monday setup. So just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, expect something on Sunday evening for a Monday setup. And of course, they will be found, the video will be found on the Trade Alert Facebook page. All right, so we'll uh, take a look at not only Trade Alerts, but we'll be taking a look at uh, some of these trade setups. And I, I'm going to try to get uh, uh, at least five, maybe five a week perhaps, but I told you before, 10 to 20 a month, and that's what I'm going to aim for. All right, so there you guys go. Everybody have a nice weekend, and we'll see you next time around.